Good day everybody, welcome to another brief overview video of this amazing motorhome. I'm really proud to say to have one of these really luxurious and truly remarkable motorhomes and this is the Burstner. Now the Burstner brand is German engineered and this is the Nexo T740. And it's a 2017 model with really low mileage, okay, only traveled 37,000 kilometers. And this is just a brief overview uh, to show you the condition and to tell you a little bit more about it. Yes, let's start up here. We got these little nice flanges. It's not really made to, for a step, but it really looks cool. Most of the Fiat's don't have them, but the Burstner brought it out like that. You got the diesel filler cap over there, all right. And then I like this, it's really flush windows, it's really great, double glazed windows, grade 3 as they call it, insulation. And then the decals and all of that is over there. Then over here, you've got the water container. Now uh, this is 120 liters fresh, that's the uh, fresh water tank. You just fill it up there. And the cable, it's put in here and it's also got an adapter for when you plug it in at your house power. Uh, to charge, keep the batteries charged up. But yeah, this cable will just plug in there and the other part will plug obviously into the campground. But it's neatly stored in this little compartment and it is lockable. You got the Truma Combi 6E heating vent there. You got the wastewater tap down there. Uh, and 92, 90 liter uh, wastewater. And then yeah, lovely big bedroom window. But we'll get to that in a moment. Right, now we come to this side. Uh, open up there, you can see two lovely uh, big 9 kg gas bottles with the vent there. Okay, and we come around. Sorry, the sun is a bit low this time of the day, but yeah, you can see really great the brake light of Burstner up there with the reverse camera, great decals, and the Burstner emblem at the bottom there. So, spinning around here, we first go into this really spacious garage. You can have a look there. It's got tie downs all the way through and those squabs make up the extra bed. This is a 2, point, 2 plus 1 berth motorhome and here's the bag with the goodies. So your fresh water hose, your wastewater hose and your cable is actually not in here. The cable is in the compartment but you can put it in there. It's got 240 plugs fitted uh, for if you plugged in. It's got the awning winder up there and a little, wee little light there. Okay really nightly, nicely nicely attired and yeah as you can see this is just really good quality and i'm really happy to have one of these up to give to well not give but to basically have this one for sale for you okay and then yeah we got the uh it's a 20 liter tetford pull out cassette toilet okay you got the fridge vents up there and this awning it's a uh, Four and a half meter two lay omnister, so we're just going to open the door and I'll show you the, the, or the awning lights there, but you also got the strip light, which I really like. So it really lights up at night when you put up the awning, it gives you a great, great feel. Okay, All right, and yeah, it is built on the Fiat chassis 2.3 liter multi jet engine with 130 brake horsepower. So now we get to this entry door. And we're going to step inside and see what she's all about. So first of all, we've got this blind over here. And the waste bin that is removable in everything. So you can easily get it out. And then the fly screen door. Okay. So the awning lights up there. And before we go inside, we're going to switch over to wide angle. So that you can see so much more of this lovely motorhome. Okay. So we switched over and yeah, big extra large entry door with a low coop step, really great. And you can see it's got carpets in, it's removable. Uh, before we get in, there is a little bin which you can put magazines or your, your uh, shoes in. Okay. And then yeah, let's follow me, follow me please. And then here you got the grab handle. So we got the light switches, everything is on there. Okay. And then if we swing around, You'll see there, this is the control panel, so you've got a monitor for your house batteries, your vehicle battery. This is the on and off switch that uh, shuts off all the 12 volt. You've got the battery monitors there. Uh, sorry, the, the fresh water and the wastewater, that is not showing up there because it's empty. And then you've got the water pump switch there. This is really great because this is top of the range satellite, automatic satellite dish. And that is the 
uh, SAMI auto satellite dish and that is just the thermostat okay so we're gonna go uh, we can start over here basically and then we'll work our way around there's just a neat little cupboard with a 240 plug if you want to put a microwave in there you're more than welcome to do that just put it in there plug it in but yeah you've got to be plugged into the campground it's got an inverter a thousand watt but that wouldn't be enough to run the uh, to run the uh, uh, microwave so yeah you got your fridge freezer compartment over there there you can see that a little ice tray there and yeah lovely look at that great condition it's like new and then just close it and all of that and it also actually acts as a mirror and I like this because I look really really slim look at me there look at me really slim okay so before we carry on that's the bedroom area but now this is quite neat because now we shut off uh, I just want to shut off the fridge before it makes a noise so we shut off the back area the bedroom area with this little neat tidy door which is just swiveling around on that curved side really great okay so before we get in further to the bedroom area I just want to show you huge storage in there lovely and look at that you can actually gain access to the garage as well as a lot more storage in these two compartments and that is your gas locker over there now there's another nice feature of this luxurious motorhome uh, and these are basically that you can recline this like a setting like that and then you can just lean back and also these lights is reading lights so if you think oh that thing is in my way no way Jose it's not in your way you can move it around and look at that really lovely okay now you got the storage up there and look at this big massive wardrobe I think this is the hers and the his that one's a bit smaller unfortunately gents and you got two uh, plugs here you got the 240 plug this side and that side a lot of them only have it one side but this one great it's got both sides okie dokie so we'll move around um, I'll just show you this side now this is where the um, uh, storage compartment is here there's lots of storage in this uh, motorhome uh, in the in this area here and then more storage in there they've got a 240 plug oops your light switch everything you've got a swivel seat toilet and uh, electric flush over there okay quite nice lot a lot of leg room and then this is like a sliding unit door sorry a door here that you can slide it across and then it does restrict the space and the movement a bit here but that's all good uh, because you can leave it open if you like or you can close it okay right and then we'll swing around we'll just do a bit of a motorhome shuffle as they call it so this area is quite nice you can put the magazine or in this case the people the customers put their remote there it's right here which i really like in the bedroom area not like some motorhomes the control panel for the heating and the water heater is there in the front of the vehicle where here it's just situated over here which is really great and then yeah we got a tally here rse with a dvd player now the nice thing is there is another one in the lounge so this one comes with two tellies 24 inch and a 19 inch what more would you want so you can lie in bed watch telly especially on those rainy days and stuff you got the light switches here for the shower which we'll get to in a moment but yeah this is really great because you're right there and you can turn up the volume as they say or the heating as they say and yeah that's a big massive shower look at that okay so it's got a heating vent and you can hang up your clothes over there um, you can also hang up the plug for the drain up there if you want to but yeah look, lovely you got this um, the shower here rose really great and um, you can put your feet up there if you want to wash it and yeah I can step inside and you can see there's quite a bit of room here and I uh, can put my leg up here yeah right okay all right let's get out of the shower before I get wet and then we'll go into these beautiful little kitchen area now this kitchen this is a place for your coffee machine I would say but it will only work on the 240 so you will put it over there and now look at that hardly a scratch on and you got the uh, gas three burner gas hop here okay and uh, if we go up because we're jumping around I'm so sorry about that got more storage here here and there 
and then yeah you got light switches here there's really a lot of ambient lighting as i call it the ambiance and you got a extractor fan okay or actually you can just use the um the window and leave the door open because you got a fly screen which is amazing now they're all soft closed this is your cutlery tray with all your isolation switches so you can see that lovely easy as and then a wee little oven okay yeah there is cookbooks available to show you in these little ovens uh, there's a little light even to check how the roast is going yep yeah, yep yeah. that's looking good there okay and more storage in here as well and that's the pan for the oven so it doesn't rattle now another plus uh, before we get to that look at this beautiful tap brand new and cutting board which hasn't been used for a cutting board which is great and then i like the round basin because you can easily wash your plates it's not a square one and wasting space but really great look at that okay and this like i said table tap will swivel and yeah now this is one of the plus and what a lot of people would like if they're cooking it is the slide out pantry okay you got two wine bottles or whatever bottles you want to put in there and then you got all this space here up here for your pantry and just push it back all right awesome now because it's a two plus one berth i'll show you in a moment where the plus one comes in because it's more for a smaller person like myself or even smaller um now this is not a drop down bed version so you got all the skylight and also with this light wood it just gives that extra sense of space okay now you got those lights that i said to you before now this table will basically that foot will come out and you will drop the table down and that would basically then make this area into a bed okay so um yeah there is another piece here which we just have to put back on the customer didn't put it on because he thought it was a bit thick and you know for his legs and that but the table is movable so you can slide it forwards and backwards and then have that e extra extension piece here for your if somebody wants to sit there so e easily people as you can see here we have five people around here okay underneath here this is where your uh you will find the two house batteries look at that that's massive and you got the thousand watt inverter there okay everything in really great condition now this is where the tv is hiding a lot of people say oh i can't find the television but yeah this is where it is over here so you can sit in this area and really enjoy the television okay and yeah i've sold a few of this, these beauties in the past and i've got customers that actually can give you their own personal experience because all of us our lifestyles are different uh, but yeah, we've got a few that uh, are couples and that that are actually using this motorhomes uh, to basically nearly live full time in it. Now we got this genuine leather Burstner seats and look at the condition; it's just amazing. And then there you've got the JVC radio system. You've got sorry, let me just get in here. We got USB ports here, and then this is the phone holder. I had some people saying to me oh what is that in front there and uh just thought i'll show them again in this video or you can put your old style maps or something in there and that is the master switch for the radio and the reverse camera leather steering wheel really really great condition and of course on the uh well well known and popular um uh, fiat gearbox uh, the comfortmatic right Okie dokie, so if you would like to know more about this lovely luxurious motorhome, please contact me Peter at rvfinders.co.nz uh, You can go on our YouTube channel and look at a lot of different motorhomes as well and do some comparisons which is always good to help you tick the boxes. Um, although we can't always tick all the boxes, we can tick most of the boxes and uh, yeah, so the other thing is Facebook obviously, there's a lot of communication going on. So yeah, we're looking forward to hear from you soon and have a great day. Goodbye.